point that we also learn from our traditions is, is that overall there will be more women in the world than men. So it's not as if women have a higher percentage or chance of going to Jahannam. It's that there are more women in the first place. The fact of the matter is that the Prophet did not link their femininity to Jahannam. He linked their actions. He said that uh, your tongues are always cursing, that you're, you're using language that's inappropriate, and that you're showing uh, ingratitude to people that you, sh you need to show gratitude to. So the linkage to Jahannam is not because of their gender. The linkage is because of things that they have done. So look at the hadith in some total. What the Prophet is saying is that avoid these sins and crimes, O women, uh, and be careful because sometimes women are more predisposed to these crimes than men are. He's not saying women Women, you're going to go to Jahannam because you're women. He said, women, uh, because of these crimes, you might possibly end up being punished. So avoid these crimes. So look at the whole hadith rather than, again, looking at one phrase in it. Uh, the Prophet is not being discriminatory against women. He is warning women against specific crimes and specific things that they should not do.